Alright, so what's going on guys, Visions here, and welcome back to the channel for yet another GTA 5 online gotcha video. Now, in today's GTA 5 online gotcha video, guys, what I'm going to be showing you is a solo working money glitch. Working right now, after the most recent patch, of 1.65 within GTA 5 online. If you guys do want to enjoy today's video and want to drop a massive like down below, it would highly be appreciated. And also subscribe to the channel as we're on the road to 16,000 subscribers. Any help getting towards that would be highly appreciated here on the channel. And I am hosting a modded account giveaway here on the channel as well. So if you guys want to have a chance of winning a modded account, I am giving away 10 on the channel in total. To enter this giveaway, all you're going to have to do is like this video, subscribe to me, turn on post notifications, and comment hashtag modded account down in the comments as many times as you possibly can. But yeah, with this glitch guys, all you're going to need is access to the mission and title of a job and access to a jet within GTA 5 online, whether this is your jet or a Morris Mutual's jet. Pegasus one, sorry, that's all you're going to need to actually do this glitch. But yeah, this glitch is super easy to do and there's no requirements other than them two that I just told you, which everyone that plays GTA online definitely has now unless you start a new character. But yeah, this glitch is super easy to do and let's get straight into the video. Alright, to start this glitch off, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have your spawn location set to the last location. And from here, you're going to want to head towards the airport. From there, you want to open up jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, missions, then find the mission title of a job. And once you've actually loaded into the title of a job mission, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the difficult way is set on normal. So this gives you two lives instead of the only the one that you get when you have it on hard. From here, you simply want to buy all your ammo and armor if you can, just to keep yourself alive. In my case I'm alright because I used the Deluxe to actually do this glitch to make it easier on myself. But from here you just want to start up the mission. And if you're actually at the airport already, you're just going to spawn around the airport sort of entrance. From here what you want to do is get into your car or any vehicle that you're using. Preferably a big car or a car that can fly you can do this with. But you want to jump in your car and you want to drive up to the Titan where it is actually stored for the mission which is in the hangar all the way at the back of the airport. So from here just fly all the way over and continue over to the Titan and once you're actually at the Titan first thing you're going to want to do is find a way to keep yourself covered. In that case just drop down your car and crouch down behind it and you will be safe from fire for as long as you possibly can before you start destroying the windows and stuff. But from here all you're going to want to do is start killing the people that are hanging around once you've actually killed a few of them, you want to kill about 95% of them just so they're all out of your way and you have no problem with actually getting to the Titan. In my case, I just used the rocket launcher to actually kill a few of them as it just locks on straight away and isn't damaging the plane in any way. So I just kept shooting them all and eventually I did get through a good few of them. I'm going to speed this part up now. So once you've actually killed enough of the guys, what you're going to want to do is find a way to blow up the Titan, but you guys you actually have to be near it. So what you want to do is kill the last few people, get yourself killed first of all. Like I said before, you want to get yourself killed. And once you've got yourself killed, what you're actually going to want to do is run over to the plane, throw a sticky bomb on it and simply blow it up. So as you can see I'm just killing the last few people and from here what you want to do is run over to the Titan and actually just blow it up but you have to kill yourself in the process. All you need to do is make sure the Titan it comes up Titan is destroyed. And once you've done that what you're going to see is the mission will fail and it says because the Titan was destroyed. You want to try and jump in the plane at the same time but before you actually jump in it blow it up to make sure you get this message just so it registers. And you'll see you get $450 so you do get an extra little bit of cash for doing this which is alright. But it's nothing compared to what you actually get for doing this glitch. From here you simply want to load back into GTA 5 Online which I'm doing right now in the video. And once you've actually loaded back into GTA 5 Online this is the reason you need your spawn location set in last location. You should spawn somewhere around the airport. So you might spawn at the back of the hangar, you might spawn around the front. But from here you want to make your way back into the airport. If you do spawn at a fence where you can't actually go over just use a bomb to either blow it up or use the atomizer to actually put yourself over the fence which is probably the best way of doing it if you can't go over and have the weapon but from here you want to run through and you want to make your way back to your own vehicle like I do in the video now and from here what you're going to want to do is drive all the way over to where the hangar is 
as you come into the airport and make sure there's a jet sitting there. And once you're actually at the hangar there should be a plane that spawns on the inside. In some cases it doesn't spawn on the inside straight away so what I had to do was destroy the one that was parked on the outside. So you just want to destroy it and then you can blow it up's best way, it's quickest way. So you want to blow it up and you want to simply drive away. So I think I went outside of the airport at first to try and get it to respawn and I don't think it came back around but if it did it doesn't matter anyway. But all you have to do is find your way back to the airport to make sure the plane does spawn. And once you're actually back in the airport and have the plane there, what you're going to want to do is actually go into the hangar where the plane is. And once you're actually in the hangar, what you're going to want to do is create a save point in the game. So to do this, what you're going to want to do is open up your interaction menu. You want to go to accessories and style and you want to make sure you change your outfit. And once you've actually changed your outfit, what you're going to realise in the bottom right hand corner of the screen there's a little like a little loading circle and from here all you're going to want to do is open the airplane door you want to throw one two or three stickies on it and what you want to do from there is get into the plane but before you actually get in the door is make sure the plane does blow up so you want to blow it up as soon as you're about to actually get into it as soon as your first foot is in the door blow it up and what you'll realize is the plane does actually disappear out of you when you destroy it from here all you have to do is run back round towards the hangar and you'll see that your car's still there but the plane isn't actually there. From here you simply just want to jump into your car once again. So once you're actually heading back to your hangar after destroying the plane, what you want to simply do is jump into that plane that you've got. This time you're going to have the cops on you for actually blowing up the plane even though you have died. So you're going to have the cops on you and once you get rid of the cops what you want to do is make sure you're in the plane but as I say here the plane didn't actually spawn in the garage again for me. So you want to blow this one up and just go around once again. If it does spawn in straight away just do as I was saying before. You want to just jump into the actual plane itself and you want to fly around until you do lose the cops if you have them, if not it's absolutely fine. You can't call a western but the option wasn't available for me at the time because I just used it. So all you're going to want to do is simply just jump into the plane. You want to fly away and make sure you do lose the cops. This will take a few seconds as it did for me. But eventually you will see that I end up losing the cops. I've just sort of sped it up quick. From here what you're then going to want to do it's fly towards the hangar and sometimes the plane won't spawn in straight away so I don't think it did in this clip for me. As you see it didn't spawn in first time so I've had to go around and redo it. As you see the first time I went to do this plane isn't actually there so I've had to turn around all the way back round and fly towards it once again but you'll see second time round that the plane is actually in there. What you're going to want to do is simply before you fly into the actual Titan you want to blow up the sticky bombs that are thrown onto your plane once again. So as you see now I'm just turning all the way around and I'm about to blow it up with the sticky bombs just before I actually touch the plane and it should blow up the Titan like it does in the video now, so yeah, I've just blew up and the Titans blew up as well. And once you actually go back there, there shouldn't be any parts of the little body left, and maybe a wing that's left, and that's all you need. And from here, what you're then going to want to do is run in, and you're going to want to work into the second black circle that's actually on the, the hangar floor, as you can see. And once you actually do walk into that second black circle, you're going to start getting money put into your GTA 5 Online account now. But yeah, that is it for this glitch guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, if you did and want to make more money with GTA 5 online, drop a massive like down below and subscribe to the channel as we're on a road to 16,000 subscribers, I do really appreciate all the support on the channel recently. But yeah, end of the mod, can't give away the start of the video, and see you on the next one, I'm out, peace.